It is that time again. Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot's here again. And in today's video, we are gonna be checking out another 3DS. And I know what you're thinking. Elliot, have you not done enough 3DS content on your channel? The answer to that is probably yes, but I got given a 3DS. This is just the regular run-of-the-mill first 3DS that was, uh, that was made. Um, I haven't got one of these. I'm gonna be reshelling this one because as you can see, it's super, super grubby and grimy. Um, it was given to me by, uh, by a friend of mine called Dan, so big thank you to Dan. I'm hoping there's gonna be some sufficient bits and bobs in here. Uh, there's actually a, is there an SD card included? There is an SD card included. Thank you very much, Dan. Um, it doesn't turn on. It has, um, it has got some, it does hold a little bit of charge. As you can see, there's a red blinking light there, but the battery on this thing is toast. Um, unfortunately, ordering a new battery into Jersey is almost impossible as there's lots of rules and regulations about shipping um, parcels with, in, containing batteries on an airplane. So unfortunately, uh, yeah, I can't get one of those in at the moment, but I'm going over to the UK soon, so I'll order one to my hotel then. Without any further waffle, let's check what's inside this package. So I bought a purple shell. We don't, I don't believe we've got those in the UK. It does come with a stylus. Hooray. Um, my girlfriend uh, hasn't got a 3DS, so I'm gonna be building this one for her. Her name is Emily. I'm sure a lot of you by now probably know that. Um, so it's got lots of bits in here. Um, it's, got, it's even got a sticker for the battery. That's a bit odd. Um, it's got some screen lenses and other bits and bobs in there. We've got a metal shell, uh, shielding, sorry. This wasn't cheap, by the way. This was about 19 pounds, um, so it was quite expensive, but it's very, very nice uh, quality. It feels great. Hopefully it will go together well. Um, I can see that there's an adhesive um, part here with a big sticker on the back of it. That probably means we're gonna have to try and get this off. We're gonna have to get the hairdryer out for this one um, because that front bit of plastic there um, holds the screws underneath it, so that's a bit annoying. We've got a bag of buttons, which is good. Uh, we've got a bag of button membranes, which is fantastic. We've got a bag of screws, but we don't have a joystick um, cover, because the one on here is currently um, missing the rubber that would have gone on it initially, so that's a bit of a shame, but it's got everything else. So, without any further ado, let's crack on with the video.
Right, so we have actually managed to get it back together and I'm pretty happy with it, uh, sort of. Let's just go ahead and peel this off because that's a pretty rewarding part of it. Um, and yeah, obviously it does look very, very nice. Um, I quickly realized, because at the start I was um, you know, wondering whether or not this was just overstock from the official uh, Nintendo um, sort of warehouse. In fact, this thing, the whole thing is, is labeled with Nintendo on it. Um, and I know that doesn't necessarily mean that it's legit, but even the stylus has Nintendo written on it and the logo looks pretty, pretty close. So maybe that's why I paid so much for it. Maybe, I might be completely wrong, but maybe it was some back stock from Nintendo's uh, factory, but I was very, very wrong. This thing is definitely far from legit. Um, everything you know important goes in and out pretty okay you know this clicks in nicely you would expect that it would because that's not really anything to do with the shell um, the hinge opens nicely but obviously that's nothing to do with the shell either that's an official Nintendo hinge fair enough I need to replace this so we're not going to put that and take that into consideration but there's a couple of important things when playing a console buttons so these ones press okay they're a little bit spongy. Um, I didn't use the official Nintendo membrane, so maybe that would be a good idea. But this D-pad is terrible. Um, it doesn't have a definitive press. I think the problem is um, the piece that goes in the center of the D-pad, like there's sort of like a ball underneath it um, so that it can roll on those directions. That's just a bit too tall. Um, and so you're just not, it's just really, really not very definitive and it's very, very spongy and awful. Um, the other problem as well is these three buttons. Now, granted, you don't need to press them too often, um, but I'll show you in a second what I'm on about. I also did a stupid thing and put the wrong screw in, so that is now a permanent thing, but you can actually just buy replacements of these bottom pieces, and I think they're a lot cheaper. Um, incidentally as well, I'm not sure you're going to be able to, sh to see it there, but up there, underneath the screen lens, which I you know, peeled off the, the protector on and didn't think that I needed to, to, to wipe it clean or anything. There's a big like black splodge and there's also two in the center, but you'll see those more in a second. Um, and the final thing is, you know, there's a couple of things around the side that you, although you don't need to use often, are bad. So here's the uh, SD card. You know, if you want to change the SD card, there you go. Um, but this isn't held on very well. It just sort of falls off and I'm not going to put that back on on camera because it takes a very long time to do, but that's less than ideal. Uh, the volume slider is, you know, it's it's scratchy. It's hard to sort of describe it um, with, you know, I just hopefully you can sort of see it there, but it doesn't slide up smoothly. It's gritty. It's, it's not very nice. It's just less than ideal, but fortunately Emily doesn't usually use the 3D on my 3DS anyway, so that's okay. So let's go ahead and power it on and we can uh, show you what we're sort of dealing with. I did actually use the battery from my 2DS, uh, which meant that this is actually now pretty much complete besides the fact that I need to replace the joystick. Uh, but yeah, I mean, it works. The uh, cameras work absolutely fine, which is good because getting all those ribbon cables through this hinge was awful. You probably saw that it was very, very difficult to do, um, but I managed to do it eventually. You can see that better there, that black sort of stain, and there's two in the center as well, but. Yeah, as you can see, the uh, the cameras work okay. If I take a picture, um, oh, press next. There you go. And if I uh, put an inner camera photo on, there you go. You'll be able to see uh, me and everything. So yeah, that does work. And if you press the home button, it does work, but it's just not very nice. You know, it leaves a, a, a sort of a mark on the uh, the thing because it's just super thin and flimsy and cheap. And uh, the touchscreen works. Everything obviously still works. You know, it's 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 a functioning DS. I haven't repaired anything. I just replaced the uh, the shell. So I don't need to show you anymore. But it's just the point that um, you know, if you're looking for a nice um, replacement shell. This probably isn't gonna be it. I would recommend trying to buy one uh, where the shell is already sort of okay. Um, and don't buy one with a crusty shell. Obviously this was given to me for free and thank you very much, Dan, for that. I've never taken apart a 3DS, um, just a regular one, so it's been quite fun. Hopefully you have all enjoyed this video and uh, yeah, I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.